Today we have invited uh, three uh, internationally renewed speakers uh, in the field of aging. Uh, so the first two speakers, uh, Guido Cromer and Professor Rando, we are going to give an overview about the basic uh, biological mechanism behind uh, aging and aging-related disease. They will talk about the novel therapeutics which are important to treat uh, aging and to extend the lifespan of the human being. So the third speaker will be uh, a sociologist uh, with the uh, expertise in epidemiology. Uh, this is very interesting because uh, it's going to talk about the role placed by the well-being and the socio-psychological aspect linked to uh, longevity. The general idea is to uh, have this uh, forum in two different locations, one in Ticino and one in Zurich, to increase awareness about uh, aging, aging-related disorder in the population of the two cantons. I'm a scientist and I normally work uh, on the basic biology mechanism, try to understand how cell age, right, or how can we prevent that. But there are a lot of studies going on that show that socio-economic factors, which I name environmental factors, can also impact on longevity and decrease the risk, of, for instance, of mortality. So there are a lot of evidence that demonstrate that, for instance, culture, heart, uh, can uh, improve like uh, cognitive uh, function of the brain, can uh, decrease uh, inflammation, can improve like uh, uh, the emotional well-being of, of a subject, and this can impact uh, and on the on its lifespan. However, this is not a linear uh, relationship. Of course, there are many other factors, such as, of course, the biological factors, the environment in general, that can also account for the reason why someone lives longer than another. Thank you.